Good morning folks, Chris Leader here, New Jersey, Delaware Bay Editor of The Fisherman and welcome to another online video fishing report for this week. Tropical Storm Cristobal came off the coast and brought with it a lot of waves. The surfers were real happy. The beach anglers had to really work through those waves. But the heat wave that's going to follow is going to really change the fishing in the coming weeks. Fluking action has been really good to the north and to the south. Those middle areas from like Point Pleasant down through Barnegat are experiencing a lot of fish, just not a lot of big fish. The big fish are in Raritan Bay in the channels and just offshore at Shrewsbury Rocks and also off Cape May in Delaware off Site 11 and the Old Grounds. You've got to go big, some big bucktails, live snappers, and those will be the baits that you can use to catch those really big fluke right now as they migrate offshore. Speaking of snappers, they're going crazy inshore, little snapper poppers, Lenny Lancet rigs with a spearing or taking snappers and they're big. They're getting like eight, nine inches long. Kingfish made an appearance in the surf. Captain Andy down at Riptide Bait and Tackle in Brigantine said they had a good bite of kings on fish bites and bloodworms. And there were some weeds, but the anglers had to persevere through those uh, conditions to get to the kingfish. Some really nice kingfish. Mahi Mahi are lighting up the inshore and the offshore scene. When I talk of inshore, I mean the bluefish boats that are heading out to the mud hole and those areas. And also the canyon boats that were able to get out through the storm are getting some nice gaffer dolphin at 10, 15 pounds. I posted a really unusual catch on Facebook this past week. An 86.4 pound cobia was landed off Sea Isle City. That's just a few pounds off the state record, the New Jersey state record of 87 pounds. So there's some really big fish and some variety right now from New Jersey all the way down to Maryland. You want to get out there early in the morning and late in the day with this heat wave. So. The bass are starting to bite. I've got some reports of stripers. We had some cold nights and the stripers started to turn on on eels and live spot. I think they were resident fish. There weren't a lot of migrating fish, but some nice uh, striped bass to 15, 20 pounds were taken in the dead of night. Fall stocking for New Jersey trout has been announced and that's going to run from October 7th through the 15th. The state, uh, despite the frunculosis in the hatchery, is still going to stock 17 streams and 14 ponds with 25,000 trout. The big breeder trout, I was told, are going to be going into the ponds in South Jersey, those big browns and big rainbows. So if your fall action is good in the salt, you might want to take a ride inshore and uh, do some trout fishing come October. New Jersey sea bass has just opened. That's a big deal because we've been catching some really nice sea bass on the rough bottom while we're fluking. Uh, the limit is now 15 fish at 12 and a half inches. So look for some of those bottom fishing boats to switch from laying and stuff to sea bass because there's going to be a real good bite on sea bass coming up. Down in Delaware, the croaker fishing is red hot. They're getting some big croakers mixed in with some flounder and if you head out offshore a little bit they're also catching some real nice trigger fish that are mixing in. Uh, as far as events we've got our striped bass hearings taking place. I hope everyone is leaving their public comment and trying to make at least one of these striped bass addendum meetings. So we have gotta really look at the fishery and you as an angler your voice can be heard. Also, Tackle Direct is sponsoring a big event October 11th through the 13th at their Egg Harbor Township store. They're having a big canyon clearance sale. I just got word of that. So as for now, this is Chris Lita with the Fisherman Magazine. Looks like another hot week ahead, but we've still got plenty to fish for. The kids are back in school, but the bite is on.